Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. It's the Matt's RV Reviews Awards. And today, we're taking a look at the top five Class C's for 2022. Now this is by far my favorite category in the entire RV industry because every level of Class C's on the market, big, small, we're looking at them all. You won't believe who we selected as the number one Class C for 2022. And there's a strange reason why you'll just have to stick around and watch all the whole top five list. We're starting in three, two, one. Great, so to begin the Class C category is going to be the Sunseeker 2860. Now Andrea and I, we haven't even done a review on this, so this is gonna be our first time seeing this, but this is a unit that I'm very familiar with because there's something awesome on the exterior. What makes this coach isn't the exterior, okay? Or no, it isn't the interior, it is the exterior. So first, E450 chassis, love that. Fiberglass front bra, okay? Coming on down the side here, Little weird awning placement, right? Andrea, why would they put the awning right up there and not up here? Outside kitchen. Mm. Only in America. <laughs> this is the only unit that's truly giving you like a true outside kitchen. You know what I'm saying? The fridge, the TV, the sink. You know, we might see some other outside kitchen types, more like outside kitchen hybrids later on. But look at this, is this not awesome? And then look, we got crazy storage right there, a nice Evertrail refrigerator, a sink that's actually plumped through, and then look at this, more storage, and there is a propane quick connect if you wanna have your grill for the outside. This is absolutely fantastic and I love it. Let's take a look at the inside. Coming on inside, first I do wanna point out this unit does have the auto leveling, which is huge. Inside, great floor plan, great smallish, not smallish, medium sized floor plan. Your cockpit area is up here. Foam cover the cab holds 440 pounds. Your sofa's right here, kind of adjacent to where the TV is. I do like the dinette on this side because you have that awesome window there. So you can see what's going on outside your campsite. Very nice big refrigerator, doing a great job at that. And this kind of corner kitchen area. Coming on up here, we do have a split bath. 24 by 36, that might, yeah, that's 24 by 36. Really good size, and then right over here is the bathroom. Thank you, Andrea. Uh, nice porcelain toilet, little sink and medicine cabinet right there. Then Andrea, show everybody the finish up, finish up. Okay, in here we have a nice queen size bed. Yes. Looks like we have tables there. Look at this great storage here. Two wardrobes, yep. drawers, and a TV. Yes, two wardrobes for you and you. Yes. <laughs> like the headboard right there. And then check to see if there's storage underneath the bed. There is just a little bit, but hey, a little something's better than all of nothing. Overall, this is a great Class C motorhome. And that outside kitchen is why it made the list, but we are just beginning. Let's take a look at number four. Great, so number four on the list is the Forest River Forester model 3011DS. This one has the optional full body paint and it looks fan freaking fantastic. What I love about this motorhome is the simplicity of it. Now when I say I love the simplicity, I mean the floor plan. What's so great about this unit is this floor plan works with the slide outs both open and closed. You got a seamless, uh, well you got a fiberglass front bra there. Not as nice as the seamless fiberglass front cap, but again, better than just a regular trim. Outside TV, really nice storage on the outside, but it's the inside that's special about this one. Check out the inside. Does have auto leveling. Look at this, really spacious and nice, tons of countertop space. We're starting up front here. Bunk over the cab over the E450 chassis. Very, very nice. Again, look at this full wall slide. It only goes out about a foot and a half, so you still have plenty of walkway with the slide outs in. Right here's your sofa, directly across from your TV. I mean, did I tell you a ton of countertop space? This is absolutely amazing. Microwave convection oven, stove top there, and then over here is your refrigerator. Really big, spacious, and nice. And then check out this U-shaped dinette. 
These are the biggest, they're the best, and they're great for everybody to sit around and to eat with you guys. Auto leveling's on this motorhome. Then back here in the bedroom, super nice. Queen size bed, doesn't have to fold out. Plenty of space back here. Again, this whole motorhome works with the slide outs both open and closed. Right here, we do have a nice shower, okay? And then if I may see the camera, right over here is your toilet. This is what's called a split bathroom, and they really, really did knock it out of the park. Showing you, they did such a great job knocking it out of the park, it's easy to see why this made it on the list. Let's take a look at number three. Coming in at number three is the all new Thor Geneva 28 V8. Now, this was Andrea's favorite Class C motorhome, and I love it too, but and I think it's the perfect spot this year for number three. Let's begin with some of the exterior features. So first and foremost, we do have a bunk over the cab that holds 800 pounds. What I love is that it looks good, I like the name Geneva, and I love that front windshield. Super awesome and nice. E450 chassis with cameras on the left side, right side, and reverse. And this is becoming unique and rare in the RV industry, is an actual TV for the outside. I mean, how else are you supposed to watch a NASCAR race? Coming on down the side here, what makes this unit so awesome is the storage in the rear. But even more so, check this out. Look at that. This storage is so cool. Check it out. This storage is so cool. You got the Ever Chill Cooler. You got the griddle cooktop on an awesome slide out tray. And it doesn't take away from the awesome exterior storage right there. Really, really nice features on the outside. Let's take a look at the inside. Coming in on the inside, you can see how light and bright and different it looks in here. Awesome bunk over the cab traditional e450 chassis okay you have a dinette right here it drops down makes a bed you got cup holders wireless phone charger with pull out drawers underneath the bed the tv was above the dinette so it's directly across from the sofa here nice slow ride shades and very big and awesome cabinetry over here we have the kitchen okay little kitchen little motorhome i forgot to mention this motorhome is 29 feet 11 inches so it's great for all state and national parks coming on here we do have a nice compressor fridge very nice we do have an awesome bedroom back here north to south side bed all uh, fully walk aroundable and there's no slide out room in the rear and then here in the bathroom very nice size shower porcelain toilet and a nice little sink Great, it's easy to see why this is Andrea's favorite motorhome and it's easy to see why it did make the top five list at number three. But listen guys, stick around because you won't believe who won number two and number one. Great, so we're over halfway done with the top five awards. And before I show you guys number two and one, I wanna take a quick moment to thank RV Life for sponsoring this video. They have a special promo code, so let's give a big shout out to RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular trip planner. That software is amazing. It's going to tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. In second place this year is the Integra Coach Odyssey 30Z. Now this one does have the optional body paint and actually um, this is the darker body paint. Yes, okay, that's how it comes. And then the esteems have the silver gray. But this is an excellent floor plan, and I really love what Integra did. 
and um, let, let, let's go take a look on the inside. It does have the side cameras auto leveling, okay? Bunk over the cab with the front windshield. You know that's what we love. Holds 750 pounds. Over here, we do have the dinette that drops down. And your kitchen's right over here. And this is the only class C that kind of gives you sectioned off. Theater seats directly across from the TV entertainment center. Okay, uh, coming in here, we do have the bathroom. Bedroom back here with a north to south slide. And there's incredible storage underneath there. And then if you open that door for me, here is your shower and toilet area. Guys, this is such a nice Class C and new for 2022. They do now have the option for two AC units and I think Integra is doing an amazing job on this unit. With this floor plan, it's super nice. And we are here at the Lazy Days display and this unit's already sold, guys. Um, that's just the way these Integras, they literally can't stay on the shelf. And uh, this is just an excellent unit. Also, it does have solid surface countertops. I did find out that this was like an option. This is an option, so not all of them can do that. Or they only did a limited run with these. So, you know, the RV industry is always changing. But here's the one thing that's not changing. My love for Integra. I love this unit. And the price did go up. This is more of a luxury Class C. I think you guys, guys, this was number two. Last year was number one. It fell down to number two. You won't believe what finished at number one. And there's a particular reason why and it's price point. Let's take a look at what came in first place. So the number one Class C for 2022 is a surprise. It's a new one. It's the East to West Entrada 2900. And with me is Tony Young. Tony, Goodness. congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Tony, the East to West team, Lisa Legal. Yeah. And here's what I like to, here's what I'm going to start off. A lot of people are going to be surprised that my favorite Integra came in second place and and the Geneva came in third place but this unit isn't better than them Tony's gonna to say they're better they're not better <laughs> but this is entry level with an amazing price point and Tony tell us what you did different for this unit yeah I think we, we did quite a few things different uh, the 2900 DS features a full uh, fiberglass front cap. You don't see that typically in an entry level Class C. Yep. Another thing that we're really proud of as far as construction goes is the Asdell composite backing. Love that. You don't have to worry about D land. Don't yep. have to, you know, extra or double the R value of blue on our plywood. Okay. Uh, but the biggest thing, I think what really makes this one of the best values in the Class C market is it comes with 50 amp service with two ACs. I love that. Standard. So now you get 50 amp. Two ACs of 15K and a 13.5 in the rear. You also will get a larger Yamaha 5500 generator in this coach. In this climate down here in Florida and your yep. southern states, that's really helpful. So. And you know, I've been asking for 50 amp for years, and in uh, like two, three years ago, people did start going to two AC units, but it was two 11Ks. Right. The 15K, 13.5, that's huge. Yep. Let's take a look at the inside. Great. So here's what I love the slide outs are out right now. But when the slide outs are in, you can fully use this whole thing. Sure. Also, Tony, you went with a U-shaped dinette. Why didn't you go with a regular booth well, dinette? We, <laughs> we did some crowdsourcing, mainly you and your subscribers. But, Thanks, uh, team. Matt had a lot to do with us sticking with or going with a U-shaped dinette as opposed to a standard dinette. We think it really turned out great. It's a little over 80 inches long. Yep. Uh, so plenty of seeping space there. Uh, this, this coach just really worked out great for us. Yep. Seats across from the entertainment center, ton of countertop space, two AC units. Uh, the shower right here is a decent size, decent size bedroom. And then guys, one thing I want you to notice, these cabinets here, right here and here, though when the slide out's in, you cannot access them. That's the only thing that you cannot access when the slide outs are in. That's huge about it. If I can see this, take a look at the bathroom, Tony. Did you fix the toilet? We did. There you go, my guy. <laughs> we did. Yeah, there, there, there was a little dilemma on the toilet, but great job fixing that. And, and again, just the fact that you can use this with the slide outs in, statistically, um, your slide outs are gonna break at least once, and not break, but malfunction, or whatever you wanna call it. The fact that it's not gonna ruin your camping trip is huge, and the price point's absolutely amazing. Do you know the MSRP on this? Uh, I do, it's right around 120. 120 let's call it 125 yep, just with jacks and everything probably right 125 compared to the integras and everything else and here's what i like to tell everybody again 
the more expensive units are the better units, but pound for pound, it's like Floyd Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? This is Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> like if Floyd Mayweather fought Shaq, Shaq would just win because of his size. He's not even a good fighter. But pound for pound, I know I'm getting off track. Pound for pound, this did a, a great job and a great unit. Thank you. And it's a newer company backed by who? East to West. Forest Who's River. it backed by? Yeah. Forest River and who, who runs it? Lisa Legal Reese. She runs it. That's uh, the our founder of Forest River, her uh, or his daughter. Yep. And uh, we're super excited about it. We've got stick and tin, laminated trailers, fifth wheels, and now we're in the motorized segment. Congratulations on getting number one. Thank you. We certainly appreciate it. You've been a big help to us in this first year. Thank you. Let's see Thank if you, you can do it again for 2023. We will. Great. That was the top five awards for Class C's this year for 2022. Again, guys, I do want to comment. My favorite and what i think is the best is integra but east to west what they did this year to accomplish that price point was absolutely amazing so congratulations to lisa legal and the whole east to west team to making a great entry level class c that's quite frankly blowing everything away i absolutely love it if you guys could leave down in the comments below let us know if you agree with our top five choices or if you disagree with our top five choices or if there was a class C that you think should have made the list, let us know by commenting down below. We appreciate everybody who helped us this year. We appreciate all the comments, the feedback, and everybody for voting. Make sure you guys tune in again tomorrow night to see who wins the top five awards and make sure you check out our second channel, Matt's RV Reviews Tobles, to see what Travel Trailer, Fifth Wheel, and Toy Hauler takes the cake. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you next time.